Hi guys, this is Jamie from Time and Space. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at two products from Applied Acoustic Systems, Strum Session and Strum GS2. And we're going to be looking at the features of both products as well as the differences between them. So AS Strum is an electric and acoustic guitar virtual instrument that contains really advanced and intelligent features such as chord recognition, chord voicing, varied strumming and picking styles, and basically has been designed specifically to allow you to play the guitar on a MIDI keyboard in the most natural and intuitive way. So we're going to start off by looking at Strum Session and the three different play modes, which is a really important feature. Um, and then after that, we'll move on to Strum GS2, which contains everything from Strum Session, plus a load of added features and further editing tools and new preset banks. So lots to explore. So here is Strum Session. And as you can see, the GUI is laid out very clearly, all on one page, nice and easy. In the top left, we have the preset banks. So Strum Session has two banks, acoustic and electric each with 12 presets in, um, and each bank has a slightly different layout to suit the parameters to the guitar, which we'll look at shortly. Now, Strum uses physical modeling instead of being sample-based, which allows for multiple benefits. The most important being how accurately it behaves like a guitar. Instead of being limited to pre-recorded samples, the instrument truly reacts to how you play it because it's modeled on how real guitar strings behave and you can include precise details. Now let's look at the three available play modes. So first off, we have keyboard. And as you'd expect, this lays out the guitar across your MIDI keyboard and allows you to either play virtuosic solo lines or chords. And this is where you'll see one of the first prominent features of Strum with the chord recognition. So right now I'm going to play some random clusters of notes and in this tab you're in the middle, we'll see every chord I'm playing. So you see it identifies every chord in real time, and not just limited to major and minor either. You saw there were sevenths, sus chords, added ninths. Um, so for those of you who aren't so confident with guitar chords but can play keyboard, this is a really quick way to identify chords. Next is guitar mode. Now in guitar mode, the keyboard is laid out more like a guitar, in that you're using both hands each to do a different function. So one hand does the strumming or picking or anything rhythmic, and the other hand does the notes or chords just as you would with a real guitar. And as you can see, we have the option to choose which hand does what, so either left hand doing the strumming with the bottom octave or the right hand doing it with the higher octave. And if I click on the question mark here, you can see what each of these key switches notes does. So downstroke, upstroke, palm mutes, individual strings, um, which are labeled as arpeggio. And it's a really intuitive, fun way of playing once you get used to it, which actually doesn't take long at all. I play guitar right-handed, so I'm now going to play around a bit using my left hand to play the chords and my right hand to do the strumming and anything rhythmic. Final mode is loop mode. So this is similar to guitar mode in a way, except instead of doing the strumming yourself, each of the key switches has a different strumming or picking loop assigned to it and will automatically play the pattern when you hold down the note. So again, if I click on the question mark, you can see they're labeled as loop A, B, C, etc. And you can also drag these patterns as MIDI straight into your DAW down here, which is really useful for organizing and structuring songs. So I'm just gonna play along with a drum beat now and you'll hear how realistic these loops sound.
The drum session comes with a nice selection of MIDI loop packs to use as well. So I was just using a couple there, but you can see there are lots to choose from for both acoustic and electric guitar. And with Strum GS2, which we'll be looking at in a second, you can actually purchase additional sound packs that offer different genres and playing styles, and you can add up to 700 more presets and MIDI loops to your Strum library. Finally, in Strum Session, we have some sound manipulation functions, such as EQ and some basic effects. On top of that, we have clock, strumming, and mod wheel parameters, and the chord voicing dropdowns allow you to choose alternate voicing for each chord. Then if I switch over to the electric guitar bank, You'll see we have pretty much the same except the effects are slightly different and also an added neck and bridge switch appears. So that is Strum Session for you and now let's open up Strum GS2. Here we have Strum GS2 and as you'll notice the play tab is exactly the same as Strum Session. So all the same features as before but now we have some new tabs to look at and a lot more presets. Here is the bank drop down and as you can see compared to just the one acoustic and one electric bank of Strum Session there are loads more to choose from. Now the number banks up to electric DI are what are included in Strum GS2 and all these extra banks are from the sound packs that I mentioned earlier that are available as add-ons to GS2 and offer genre specific presets to expand your Strum library. The next big difference between Strum GS2 and Strum Session we're going to look at is the edit tab and I think this is where the power of Strum really comes into play and once combined with the intuitive three play mode system you have unparalleled control over the instrument and there are things you can do on this page that you couldn't even do with a real guitar. A lot of thought has been put into the design of this page and the physics of it is really interesting, um, but I won't be going into lots of detail in this video as it's all in the manual. But here's a brief explanation of what each section does. The pick module relates to the actual material that is being used to pick the strings. So the sharp and triangle models simulate plectrums, whilst the parabola model is more like a smooth pick or a finger. Then we have various parameters within these models such as the picking position on the string and the sharpness of the edge of the pick. Next is the string module and here we have individual control over the tone of each string and it's divided into two components. V is the vertical component so the vibrational motion of the string perpendicular to the body of the guitar and H is horizontal component which is the motion parallel to the body of the guitar and each of these will alter the characteristics of the sound which you can do so by introducing distant harmonics uh, and adjusting the balance between both components. So I've just selected some of the MIDI loops included in Strum GS2, which I'm gonna let play whilst I adjust the parameters from the pick and string modules so you can listen out to how they affect the sound of the guitar. The hammer-on module allows you to set the amplification and tone of grace notes. So that's when a note is played and another note is hammered on the same string. The mute and palm mute modules control the behavior of how strings are muted. Um, and that happens in a variety of ways, one of which is the key switches we saw earlier in the guitar and loop play modes. Finally, the body module allows you to select the size of the guitar body, which will alter the frequency response depending on how big or small it is. And then when we switch over to an electric guitar, the body module is replaced by the pickups module. And here you have parameters for two different pickups on the neck and the bridge. So there's so much to explore on the edit page of Strum GS2, and you essentially have complete control over every aspect of the guitar down to really fine details. The other tab in Strum GS2 is the effects tab. And this is of course where you can find all the built-in effects, including EQ, compression, a really nice sounding distortion which has three different shape options, a reverb, um, and if I open up the drop down here you can see the list of effects available and you can choose any of these to add into your effects chain before the guitar signal is sent to the output. So I hope this video has given you a better understanding of what applied acoustic systems strum 
has to offer and what the difference between Strum Session and Strum GS2 is. Both incredibly powerful instruments offering you the most comprehensive and detailed virtual guitar available today. Of course GS2 offers you that key extra level of detail and hundreds of more presets and MIDI loops with the option to expand even further with the AAS sound packs. If you have any questions regarding Strum, just leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you. Um, for further information and sound demos, you can find the link to the product pages in the description of this video or simply head to www.timespace.com. Thanks for watching.